Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Badina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Badina, who's not behind the camera today. Ariana's behind the camera. Say hi. Hi. There you go. So um, today is really exciting because I heard about this um, carbon fibre mezzoforte cello um, a while back and since then I've been so excited that I haven't been able to shave. My hands have been trembling. So finally it's come in and finally I'll be able to shave. It's really, really good. But today I just thought because this is sort of like a bit of a spoiler, it does sound good. Um, but because it sounds good, I want to compare it to a really, really popular, great sounding wooden cello in the same sort of price range. So I'll tell you a little bit about this one first. Uh, it's fully handmade in Germany. It's made of um, two layer carbon fiber, fully carbon fiber construction. Um, it comes standard with very exciting pegs. I don't know if you've seen the Wittner um, fine tune pegs before, but they are crazy. See, so usually cello players, well, depending on how well their pegs are fitted, they complain about not, you know, the peg slipping or being really hard to turn or that sort of thing. But a little, a little four-year-old, I reckon, could turn these ones. Like, here we go. I'll just get my C. Okay, there's a C. I'm doing just, I'm not even pushing in. It's so easy. I mean, they're just amazing. So it's installed with, it's got those Wittner fine-tuning pegs installed, which is sort of cool because it's sort of like, you know, carbon fiber, cutting edge technology, and then you've got cutting edge technology pegs. So that's very exciting. Um, and so, you know, it's pretty much the same as a normal cello in the way that it's set up. It's got a, a sound post inside, it's got a wooden bridge, it's got a tailpiece, it's got a end pin, all of that sort of thing. And so I've made the sound post in there and I gave it its first play. And it doesn't sound exactly like, you know, I can tell that it's a carbon fiber cello, but it's got a lot of depth and a lot of ring. So I'll give it a bit of a play first. Now that I've done a bit of weird tuning, I'll just tune it again. <laughs> First, so I'm going to just keep you on the line for a little while because I want to show you what the other cello is. Okay, other cello. Now, this is a J Hyder um, Euro wood cello. So, using the European woods, um, when they say, you know, like there's the Chinese wood one which is cheaper and then the European wood one which is more expensive because it uses better quality wood, it's not just about the wood. Um, the quality of workmanship is a lot better as well. Um, they look different as well, like the, the varnishing, the antiquing on it is more complex. It really looks like a beautiful old instrument. Ariana is, you know, as we speak, she's zooming into the beautiful looking cello. It's I'm great. Just, I'm going to spin it around. There <laughs> oh. you go. Yeah. So, and I often choose the Montagnana style one. So in the Euro put... Uh, Euro pudding, no, the Euro wood uh, cellos, there's different shapes of those cellos based on famous Italian makers uh, and one French maker. So this one is based on a Montagnana cello, which was made quite a bit wider down here in the hips. And I really like that in the J Hyder cellos. I think they do that really well and they tend to sound deeper and very, very tasty. Okay, now that I've said lots of stuff, I'll put you out of your misery. We can hear these cellos. The J Hyder one first. It's really, really deep, so you can hear the extra resonance you're getting from that, you know, wide hips sort of thing. Really deep, but really strong and projecting as well. Sometimes when you've got cellos that are really deep, they don't really 
project really well on the top, but this really projects well on the top. And this is why it's the candidate to, you know, go up against the carbon fiber. <laughs> Fiber one. It says in the on the website of these that they're uh, very light, and it's actually similar weight to the J Hyder one. You know, often better quality cellos are actually usually slightly lighter. Often, real basic student cellos can be really thick and heavy because you know they're using wood that's not so good. They can't make it super thin, otherwise the wood might just break. And so they make it really thick and then it ends up being really heavy. So yeah, these are about the same sort of weight. All right, I'll give this one a try. say it almost has the same depth as the J Hyde and Monchignana one. I would say it would have similar depth to the standard shaped J Hyde cellos. Really good amount of depth down there, so really beautiful. It um, is very even across the strings. One thing that it has that I don't think the J Hyde has is probably more resonance so as I'm playing all those notes, I can hear the other notes that I've just played ringing out as I'm going up the scale. And maybe I'll play that little um, bark thingy that I can play because that uh, is more, has more of an arpeggio sort of feel and you'll be able to hear the other notes as I'm playing. <laughs> thing that I think it slightly has over the of the over pretty much any wooden cello that I've ever played is that it responds really quickly like I'm originally a violinist um, and when I went to start playing cello um, I found you know it, a lot of work after five minutes of playing cello I'd be like oh my god it's just really hard to dig into the strings but this is just really really easy and quick to dig into the strings. Um, maybe what I'll do now is I'll play this and then I'll play that straight away without doing all of my rambling and talking in between. Okay. Uh, do you want to play that bark thing? <laughs> But it does sort of have that slightly old worldy sort of woody taste to it. And also a bit extra depth. Um, they both have their own sort of, you know, really cool qualities about them. I guess, you know, maybe the carbon fiber one um, in heat and cold won't react as much as wooden instruments. And so maybe that's a good thing as well. But I mean, tell me in the comments below, tell me which cello you think is the good one to buy and then come here and buy it 
and make me happy. Thank you. Bye-bye.